Hi, this is a quick review of uh, Scott Robertson's latest book, uh, SRD Sketch Collection Volume 2. Now, I've got one of these reviews up on my Facebook page, but it's too long for YouTube, so I'm going to try and uh, whittle it down a little bit here. Anyway, it's a nice uh, format, uh, square format. Looks really nice and great quality paper. Uh, in the beginning, there's an introduction and uh, indications on each page, which was YouTube or Gumroad Jews for uh, demonstrating, showing uh, Scott's work. Here's a variety of some of the uh, sketches and drawings that you'll see. So the, the typical sort of Scott Robertson hot rods are shown here. Uh, really very nice. And then the next one is a, a beautiful uh, rendering. Look at those gold copper elements with those highlights. And I, I love this one. I, I think I tried to bid on it uh, on uh, from through Inktober and YouTube, but or eBay. I never I never managed to get it. A really beautiful sketch. And here's the uh, one of the very many e-bikes that you'll see in this book. Um, uh, just excellent detail. Some small single two-seater vehicles here. Tremendous designs and the, look at the amount of work that he puts into it. All that detail. And here's more examples of these e-bikes. And one thing you should notice is that all the cooling elements, the fans, uh, fins that you'll see uh, detailed here, they're all different. All these bikes are different. And it's uh, amazing how he can come up with all these individual designs. And here's an, a, another neat thing. Uh, this uh, lattice type girder, uh, that is included in some of these vehicles gets repeated through a number of the, the vehicles that you'll see in the following pages. Nice touch of uh, red highlights here. And here we have uh, a double page of, of uh, those e-bikes. Now I took the Patreon course with Scott earlier uh, last year and uh, it was really excellent and very challenging and as I said look at how different all of these bikes are and uh, you know as I said look at the, uh, the the cooling fins how different they are where they're positioned and the design and this one here it's you know it, it it looks very, very simple, but, you know, it, it's excellent and it's got all the elements of something which is uh, more highly detailed. I, I love the looseness of this particular sketch. So another double page of, of Scott's e-bikes. And once again, uh, look at the detail that's been involved here and how different everyone is there's a moto classic and that's the amazing thing is the his ability to come up with unique designs for every one of these i mean variations here but very unique uh, the wheels tires lightly indicated with focus on on the body frame and another page and, and look at this one this is just outstanding this one and this one. <coughs> Huge amount of work there. And all done with a one point perspective. And you can see his construction lines uh, going back to that one point. A bit more detail there. Look how that frame stands out. I'm sure you've seen this one before, this uh, classic race car.
really excellent. Once again, you'll see that kind of lattice style girder main support repeated in, in his designs. And look, the, these wheels are, are so lightly placed in there. Um, the focus seems to be on the body of the work as opposed to, or the body of the vehicle as opposed to the, uh, the wheels. But they're all very unique, all different. And once again, the red highlight and that lattice, lattice type support system on these uh, truck maintenance vehicles. Another one point perspective on, on the race car. Fantastic. You can't believe the amount of work that's involved in this because I'm taking a perspective drawing course right now and uh, you know we do three exercises per night once a week and it's a huge amount of, of work to accomplish one little uh, component uh, let alone do a whole vehicle like this and there's a, a, a real simple design but look how uh, unique it is and a great rendering there with that golden brass finish complemented by the two sort of thumbnail um, construction maintenance vehicles. And here's the uh, fun side of Scott's work. It must have been Halloween when he did these ones. They're very funny, very unique. But you can look at the beautiful tires and wheels he's got on these though. Fantastic. And there, I love this. It reminds me of the Cadillac, the CTS model, beautiful. And now he's into the uh, ink pen or the brush pen, more loose type of sketching. Wonderful stuff. And then look at this one, look at the amount of detail in that one. It's amazing, glorious. You know, a few strokes of his pen and he's, he's designed a, a, a race car with that iconic five on it. And I love that three-quarter rear view. More trucks and auxiliary vehicles. And then this loose uh, classic car type vehicles. Long wheelbase. They're excellent. Done with that brush pen again. Kind of rushing a bit because I am keep my eye on the clock here. Try and get it into 15 minutes. Great detail here. Look at those tires. I love those wheels and the way the body is carved out with uh, uh, panel lines, cut lines. Just amazing work. Another one of those uh, brush pen drawings and a more accurate one above here. And here's the <clears throat> uh, Volkswagen 911, as I would call it. Yeah, unique looking vehicle and uh, there's the rendering and some more of those uh, construction type trucks yeah I love these ones uh, I think this is one that I won on uh, eBay. Cube fans. Very unique looking. Great geometry in that. A van and a lorry, as uh, I would call it, in, as it is known in the UK, and the classic 05. So you can see how he's divided the book up into sections here. More of his trucks. And this one here is uh, 
obviously electric 250 kilowatts yeah I've seen some of these on some of these demonstrations. What is striking about is what one of the striking aspects of his work is how clean and clear they look. And that one there is so simple, looks just like a big rectangle on four wheels, but it's so clear and accurate. And when you get an original, it, it's amplified. And there's his uh, girder type frame again. <clears throat> That's a real nice uh, rendering of the vehicle above. Which obviously, or at least I think it was done with a, just a pen or a brush pen. Very loose. race cars so you know I'm just quickly going to go through because it looks as if I'm running out of time here there's a, a load of uh, motorbikes in here various shapes there's one with a rider and then we get into uh, helmets fantastic collection if you don't know how to do a helmet Here's some great examples. So there's four pages here, that's fantastic. And there he's included a maintenance guy maybe changing that big tire. You can see the amount of work that he's put in here. Incredible. And I love this one. I I tried to get that one on eBay wasn't lucky enough. This one too. And notice how he's got the little rider underneath there. Nice how with a little bit of uh, background and landscape and a figure, he's got a, a whole vista going on there. See, once again, you've got that design support framing. Really excellent drawing. point perspective on this vehicle just excellent I love this this is this is uh, glorious with the rising sun on it just excellent anyway it gets into some loose walkers a whole variety of them pages of them so you'll never have it uh, be at a loss as to what to what to sketch Anyway, it closes off uh, showing some of his books. I've got all of these three here. And the website is there also. And I've got Woosh and the Huntsman. Anyway, uh, once again, an excellent, outstanding book from, from Scott Robertson. Uh, get it on your wish list. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye for now.